Yo, I ain't gonna lie. When I heard about this shit going on in Russia, I just thought about how easy it is for some shit like this to happen. How easy it is for a country to get fucking invaded. Like, I could pick, like, people want to think America's all big and bad. Like, let, let me tell you something. If Russia and China decided to said, fuck it, let's fucking attack America and invade them, guarantee that shit would happen. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. It would happen. I don't know how far they would get, but the motherfucker would happen. It's very easy. Obviously, I got a fucking hair on my nose. I'm not going to move it because I don't give a fuck. But obviously, Putin didn't give a fuck what the world thought and fucking invaded the country anyway. There's a lot of people in power who don't give a fuck. And that's a superpower. Because once you don't give a fuck, you do shit like Putin did (laughs) today. Yo, imagine tomorrow you see on the news or get an update on your phone saying that Russia and China... I've gone as far as Nevada. There wasn't a goddamn thing we could do to stop them. Stay indoors. We're being invaded. That shit could happen. I ain't gonna lie. I That's what the fucking people in Ukraine are fucking hearing right now. A whole other country has invaded. There ain't shit they could do about it except fucking try to fight back. Who knows what's going on right now. I'm seeing this shit on fucking TikTok Live, Instagram Live, YouTube. Shit in real time where I'm seeing this shit. You know, that's not even the part that fucks me up. The fuck fucks me up is the fucking speech that Biden gave. I ain't gonna lie. I was watching this show. This motherfucker is talking reckless. I was getting my nails and feet done. <laughs> I put that shit on YouTube and I was just hearing it. On my, on my fucking... I was, every time he says it, I was like, oh, the lady was like, you okay? I was like, nah, I'm alright. I'm just hearing the speech. Like, yo, if you haven't seen that speech, it's 26 minutes. Hear the Biden speech. Against the actions they're going to take against Russia for this shit. That motherfucker was asking for smoke. That was saying, you're going to fucking get hit financially. You're not going to recover. It was crazy going in. Every time he said something, I was like, yo, this is how a war starts. You're talking to Putin. Putin's a fucking psycho. (laughs) This shit is bananas. And fucking Biden's just going off. I'm like, yo, what is this, man? It should disgust me, yo. I think if this shit starts World War Three, I wouldn't even be surprised. I think because I don't know if you've seen this, but the Ukraine has a Twitter page, and on the Twitter page they have a a Dolph Hitler, Patton, fucking Putin on the head and shit. Because you know, if you don't know, Hitler fucking kicked off World War Two and shit, and Putin. You know what really pisses me off about this shit? I've been seeing all these motherfuckers on TikTok that like, oh, Putin is going to have Russia suffer financially just for this? No, he's not. He's going to pull back. Motherfucker. Russia is invading a whole nother country. You don't think they thought about that shit already? You think fucking Putin is going to be like, oh man, Biden said that? Pull back, guys. It's over. And fucking, and Biden, and Biden knows this because he said that U.S. troops aren't going to fight Russian troops over there. They're just going to fucking help NATO keep their border. Biden ain't fucking stupid. He know damn well Putin is in there. He got his foot in the ass and he's not going to let go until he gets what he wants. I'm telling you, I have a feeling. This is my guess. If I was betting. World War Three. This is gonna be like this is the shit that started. <laughs> and you know what the thing is kind of shocking to me, at least to me, in my part. I've been on a World War Two fucking binge and shit, like movies, books, YouTube videos, pictures. I don't know why I've been on a binge on that shit. Like, I got real interested in the past month, and damn, history repeats itself like a motherfucker. I was seeing, like, the steps that fucking Hitler took to fucking take over Germany and all this shit. And now he started fucking just invading it. Not to say that Putin's gonna, I think, invade a whole bunch of fucking places. But this is enough to fucking start a fight. Trust me, once we once Russia kills any fucking U.S. troops, I think it's a wrap at that point. And I think it's gonna happen. It's bound to happen. It's gonna happen. I think it's gonna happen.
I don't think Russia is going in there taking over a country, but like, like there is fucking shooting and killing that's going on right now while you on this motherfucker. By the way, I stand neither on the side of anything. I think Putin is fucking crazy. But at the end of the day, I know I ain't got no power by saying anything. This is just documenting what's going on and shit, you know. I think in the, like, just like everything else is getting documented. Everything we do is recorded, either by us or by somebody else or just in files and shit. That they're going to look back on this sometime, some way, and be like, oh, these are the people that they happen. So, yeah. Today, February 24th to 2022. World War III. <laughs> That's officially got the fucking jump start. Fucking ridiculous, man. But, don't worry, people. If the worst comes to worst, you have no fucking idea what's going to happen. You won't even fucking... You can't even imagine it, what could happen, how bad this could get. China and Russia? Pfft. If anything were to end the world, that would end the world. You know how interesting this shit is right now? Because I'm as, yeah, I know there's nothing I could do. You know, fucking, right now while I'm recording this senseless shit, there's fucking people shooting each other over there in the Ukraine. A fucking country's getting invaded, man. That shit. It doesn't fuck me up, but it just makes me think, like, damn, how little everything really means and shit. Like, you right now watching this shit. There's fucking somebody, yo, they, and Russia ain't doing it nicely. There's no way to nicely take over a country. The motherfuckers just running in there and dropping bombs left and right and shit. But, it's all part of the plan, right? I bet you, the world, well, as far as us, Besides CNN, Fox, all that bullshit. This is going to be like a big topic for today. Unless something crazy else happens. People have a really short attention span. Even when it comes to fucking war and people's lives. And people really don't care. 